And the reason for this compare and contrast of the collaborations of the Air Force One, both branding or artists, uh, iconic figures uh, in the music industry. So, hey, off top, looking at the the Nata uh, collaboration, which is in association with Drake. I mean, just offhand, the box, you're getting uh, more detail. The Air Force One, Certified, Lover Boy, Love You Forever, Drake, uh, Nata collaboration. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm seeing the Drake Iconic on the papering inside the box, which is a plus off top. It's not the basic Air Force One paper that comes with the box. So, we do have the basic Air Force One. So, let's go ahead and see if there are any difference compared to the Travis Scott's. Guys, off top, when I first take the Drake Certified Love Award collaboration with Air Force One out the box. I noticed the leather is 10 times better just by looking at it. I have not even touched the leather to see. It just looks soft, buttery. It just looked like pristine premium leather on the actual shoe. As far as the lace locks, they, they gave us... Uh, silver lace locks with the air force one icon on it so that is an upgrade <laughs> looking at the toe box compared to the travis force ones i noticed that we have uh the perforated holes uh we have small and large holes on the top toe box uh for breathing purposes when i press down the leather on the toe box it is instant you can see the difference in the leather is really soft. The leather on here is really soft. You can see when I press it down compared to the Utopia Travis Scott Air Force Ones is really rough and hard. On the back uh, portion of the shoe where the pull tab would be, you have Travis Scott uh, Nata logo on it, which is a addition the metal aglet so that's pretty good you don't have to worry about the laces separating at the end so that's instead of the basic plastic you got metal so that's a up and i was told that you have a through z inside of uh the package with the letters and one through nine with the numbers i'm not sure what uh he went one through nine i'm not sure but i'm hoping that you can spell whatever you want to spell and if you if you want to add a couple numbers to it if you want to add a number to the end you can and you can put them on your uh laces so that's a nice good feature addition that he added on the inside of the insole his logo not on the inside with the icon so this is always a plus when comparing the Travis Scott Utopia Air Force One collaboration with the Drake Certified Lover Boy collaboration. I like the fact that, um, again, like I said, they included additional packaging. You can be creative spelling words. So that's always a plus. Or you can take these blue letter and number and you can put them on a different pair of shoes so i like that feature so the drake uh release was a little um it was a little out of the ordinary they were thinking about pushing this release back or, or actually canceling the release because the uh top riddle portion of the the top sole of the shoe they replaced from the basic um, texture and they made them hearts. And the making them hearts was, um, they said that it was a hard production. Uh, they didn't know if they would be able to do it on how many shoes they would be, they'd be able to produce. So that was another reason for the limited edition release for this shoe. But that's a different addition and hidden detail that they have on the shoe. So again, when it comes to the collaboration of Travis Scott versus Drake, it's nowhere near compared to the basic 
just air on the midsole of the Travis Scott Utopia Drake certified lover boy. Uh, added the love you forever on the midsole portion of the Air Force One, and on the other side, they added air. So that's another addition to detail that they added on this Air Force One. <clears throat> Again, guys, it's up to you. Like I said, people buy shoes, collaborated shoes, based on the 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 artist. Maybe they like. Maybe you'll like the Travis Scott artist over Drake. But I'm saying, bang for your book. I feel like this Drake collaboration with Air Force One exceeds hands down. Is uh one of the best collaborations with Air Force One. Now, I know that they had other collaborations like Supreme coming up around Halloween time. They do a lot of um, collaborations with the Air Force Ones with the skeleton and with the glow in the dark. So, you know, like I said, they always kill it with that. So, when you purchase like a Travis Scott, you're expecting more because that's what you usually get with the collaborations. So, like I said, I'm highly disappointed with just the basic Air Force Ones. And y'all just stamped a, something that cost y'all five cents on the shoe and um, increased the price. So, that's another thing that I want to make y'all aware of. If you were expecting a Travis Scott one with the normal uh, additions to the shoe, this is it. So, guys, I want to say thank you for watching my video. Time is something that you can't get back and you spend time watching me. Unknown Souls Kicks, and we out. Geeked up, sneaked up, sneaked up, geeked up, and we out.